So hey guys, if you guys know this game, you know this game, I guess. This is Arcus. Beyond, behind the dark, or Arcus, whatever. So the, there's this long, well I guess lore dump here. A long time ago, land saw Kara was rich and flourishing. There was a village at the west of the land called Arcus Village. People lived there happily and peacefully. The cozy life led them to forge the Dark Age when the Devil of Abyss, Saiba, came out from the underground and brought horror and darkness to the land. Fortunately, he was sealed in the deepest place of the dungeon by the heroes. Recently, strange things have begun to happen again. Animals surrounding village Arcos were blustering and began to attack the villagers. People left the land to escape the abnormity. But some are still suffering and waiting for the arrival of the calm after the storm. You, the hero and adventurer, heard about this hor horrid affair, I think, and came to the village. Thus, our story starts from here. And it's repeating, I guess, now for some reason. Okay. I think it could be a little broken, I don't know. I haven't tested this yet. You arrived at Arcus Village, everything seems new to you, you're going to learn from the beginning. Alright. You can use Swasid to move, J to talk, and then A to jump, I think. We can't do that here. So, hello, this is Wayne. Yeah, I don't really care what Wayne has to say, all this is boring. So I just accept his quest, and now he wants me to talk to the blacksmith, and we can save here, I guess. Cool. So we'll talk to Gran here. And Gran will allow us to pick any weapon here, so... The best weapon to start off is probably, I'd say, longsword or axe. Scimitar doesn't pop off yet, I think. Whatever. So we can press escape to close as well. Alright. Oh, every time you walk over the circle it saves. Okay. So we'll just do the tutorial real quick. I already know how to play, so I'll just skip over it. But basically we're just doing tasks and learning about game mechanics here. So at the apex of the jump, I believe, if you press the attack key, it does this falling slash, otherwise you'd do, like, a uh, normal slash in the air, right? Yeah. It's a timing-based thing, so that's cool. And I think that was the three they wanted me to kill, right? I know there are game-breaking bugs, like, of very, like, a few, actually, just straight up. So we won't need to worry about that. Double click by this. Now we kill 10 slimes. Whoa. We don't have enough for a level quite yet. But whatever. So we just kill the slimes. But honestly, I like this game a lot. I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully it'll work fine. I mean, I don't know how well the plugins and stuff work with this. We should level up soon. We have a little bit of gold. Nothing in that chest. Unlucky. Um, every monster, I believe, has a chance to drop chests, and it's just not kind of RNG if they have anything or not. So let's see. Do we have enough levels yet? I, I'm not sure. Ten. So I will just unlock the wall real fast. Well, it won't be fast. Oh, whoops. Gotta be careful. Keep an eye on it. Make sure we have it constantly in stun lock so it doesn't leap at us like that. Again. I mean, I should have leveled up something. Oh, whoops. 
necessarily work. But I played that poorly, I guess. So now we can put points in strength, agility, constitution, and luck. I believe luck was actually pretty decent, no sad to invest into, actually. So we'll go a few points into luck, and then strength. Do we? No, we don't. Do we? Strength is pretty huge too. So let's go two, three for now. Actually, yeah. I believe luck actually affects drops. Maybe it was the other game, but I'm not sure. I will take my 1% crit rate and chill. Oh, whoops. So now we can improve our proficiency. So, Falcon, Axe, or Sword. Basically, these are the three you should start with upgrading first. Counter attack, extra load, increase all attributes. Yeah. So let's see Axe, final blow, Sword, final blow, Falcon, final blow. So for this, let's go. This just gets extra damage 10, so this is just the best. Uh, to go for. So I will go Falcon and I will buy a Falcon later. Because right now I'm not getting boost. Wait, I opened that chest properly, right? Do I have to attack it twice? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Can I just farm this? Oh, yeah, you can. That is how the game be. So we could farm like this for a while. This is kind of funny. RNG's in our favor, we could get something really nice, but whatever, not important. So we don't heal, we need to use potions to heal, and I don't have any, uh, I, I don't really have much here, so. Alright, and now it's giving us uh, the tutorial about the infuse, the compose stuff. So actually, before that, I will go buy a different weapon. Uh, I'm a little bit lost, so that's the storage guy. Okay. Where is the blacksmith dude? Uh, left here? Oh, there you are. Gran. Wait, what? Oh, I can't buy from him yet. I guess. So it wants us to do this on the longsword. I made a small mistake, I guess. So we do this, like this, and then we compose. And then this makes our uh, longsword fire. So we just do that. Does this heal us? No. We started chapter 2, though. Alright. Maybe we can... Fine. So now we have to get gain their villagers' trust. Okay. So now they should have some new quests, some of them. Oh, there we go. We can buy stuff now. So, Sepmatar 2437. Yeah, that's whatever. So, items have stats as well. This doesn't really do anything for us just yet, though. This gold ring. We can use it, but it doesn't really do anything for us. So let's go ahead and purchase a Sepmatar. And we can grab a shield actually, and shields are pretty good, but whatever. This sells for 136, this sells for 9, so technically the sword is probably better, but whatever. How do we heal again? Do I just talk to Wayne or what? No. Anna's teddy bear. We have to get Anna's teddy bear back. Okay. And then there is Chung's quest. 
he wants you to kill some wolves, I think. And then Paul wants you to kill, like, a bunch of slimes, I believe. So, we'll just... As you can see, that skill really did make the difference. We're just slicing through these guys easily now. Two hitting. So, let's see. Let's be careful of that wolf here. Let's see, constitution strength. So if I do that, it gives me 10 health. And does that increase something else? What's this do? This increases our defense. Okay. So then, now we have another point. So we will do Falcon Final Blow. As that's like the only thing we can do. Put those points, and then we have 5 points here. Uh, more points in strength, and more points in luck. The luck comes in clutch later, I believe. So for now, it's just an investment. Oh, we also do get health back on level up. And look at this, that's the final blow. It has hit stun on it. Very nice. We should just grind out some gear. I do vaguely remember the map. Oh, whoops. I shouldn't have let that hit me. So I just gotta be careful not to get hit. First. Got to be very careful. Oh, whoops. That's what happens if I whiff a hit, I guess. I lose a bunch of health. So, I won't bother uh, getting help just yet. But uh, some agility is not bad, actually. have another level, so that will give 20% to this, but we can just get more base damage, which is actually pretty good, so we'll go for that instead. So it looks like about two combos will kill the wolves now. More and more damage. That was a crit. We'll start to do more crits later. Oh. So we don't have a shield either. Not quite yet, so whatever. Chest empty, unlucky. These are plus two leather gloves, so actually, not bad. You can, uh, enhance gear and make them, like, plus, I guess, would be the term. So you can increase their, uh, level, I guess. Some equipment have level requirements as well. Oh, whoops. I'm throwing. Okay. So, we just kill some slimes. I believe we can actually keep track of progress, actually, if I Doing that. Stolen goods, don't be proud. Actually, let's kill 20 level 7 wolves. Whoops. Okay. So I haven't made progress towards that quest at all then, I guess. So until I do that, uh, I'll just get made fun of, I guess. Let's go back and check for quests. Alright, let's see, what are you selling? So, this guy usually sells good stuff. So, like in this case, that's a compose sword, and then this necklace has crit on it. You can just reroll what he sells in the store, but it's generally costly. Okay. And then, this guy just 
just sells like base equipment. Usually not like super expensive at least though. So we could get like eight. Oh, this is rare. Plus two traveler's coat. That costs 556 though, and I'm kind of broke. These small potions of healing are costly too. For me right now. So this gold ring actually does nothing. We can sell it. This long sword. Yeah, whatever. But I don't think this is worth getting even for that. Like, fairly sizable chunk of defense. So, this woman sells a bunch of potions. I don't know if she starts selling the blessing gems or whatever that we need to, like, upgrade our gear. So, whatever, I guess. We can't actually heal, but if we go to town, it reloads uh, the enemy. So, we can just do this to uh, kill some slimes, I guess. Bracelet, not bad. So, let's see, I probably want to just go somewhere with a lot of stuff. My aim. Okay. So, there is actually an area with like a billion slimes, so I will head there in a few seconds start trying to farm items. Normally we should be healing using the potions, but I'm not interested. We got a jewel there. Very nice. So I believe it is this direction. We'll just kill all these slimes in hopes that they drop a chest. I think enemies that drop chests have a higher chance of actually having something in them. But anyways, let's see. Uh, the only thing we can do is... Let's see. Required level for this is 5. Required level for this, not really anything here. This gives us more load. Counter attack. Increased recovery speed. So right now we have none, basically. Required level 20. Okay, on special attack, this is an active. We don't have these unlocked just yet, but I guess we should just put the point in this. The final blow is generally not bad, so... I wanna get a lot of luck, actually, though. So... Still does nothing. We should probably slot in a healing potion, though. We can at least do that. Now there are slightly tougher slimes. We can get more XP from them, which is nice. But a slime is still a slime in the end, I suppose. This is the map with a lot of slimes, I believe. Yep. So I want a windstone and oh, finally. That stone's actually too good. That was a soul stone. We want a blessing stone, I believe. Those potions actually sell for a lot. So uh, I think the luck is starting to come in clutch, as you can see with all those item drops we are getting. Tome of luck, nice. That will increase our luck straight up. Oh, 2 damage, 69 damage. Ouchies. I shouldn't have gotten hit there, but oh well. chest unfortunately. But this area is just decent area to grind I believe, right? And we changed the map like this, so... South Mountain is down there. We can do 
that and just get some free stats. We do have a wind stone now and a water stone. There's actually a whole chart for how to all the different like buffs you can put on your gear. But like the idea is we can go to South Mountain. You know. Nothing. Unlucky. But anyways, let's go ahead and kill these slimes. Final blow covering for us there. I don't know where this guy's stolen goods are, right? I don't remember actually. I wasn't paying enough attention. So if we go like that, that reloads the area and we can just it's decent enough that we can just farm like the entrance to South Mountain and the exit like this. And we can get uh gear pretty fast, hopefully. Gotta be careful, we don't really want to get hit, we don't have any recovery. I mean, we do have the potions, but I don't really want to use potions for these small fry. And yeah. Looks like we have some, like, invincibility when we do the final blow. Oh, that's a higher tier stone. That's pretty nice. And yep, oh, another level. Alright. We'll do it like that. And now we can go extra load or Falcon blow, but... Uh, I don't think extra load is worth it, so we'll just do the Falcon thing here. And let's check how encumbered we are. 125, we're doing pretty okay. I will just equip this for funsies. Doesn't really do much for us. That is the belt slot, actually. Whoops. So, we're, we're still broke, we only have 800 gold. Whatever. And we got a Tome of Agility. Three stats, yeah, luck is clearly the way to go. I just didn't remember why. Hell, I see why. Okay. Free agility. And just like that. Free gear. And this, we'll just be farming a while here. I mean, no reason not to, I guess. That's a bit of weight, and the defense isn't that great on this. This hat has more defense than that traveler's gear, which is kind of funny, but whatever. So we can start to take on the wolves now, I feel. Level 7 wolves are kind of scary, and I don't really feel like dying, so got to be careful, I guess. So we do have town scrolls. Town scrolls are pretty busted, actually. They allow you to sort of run from encounters so you don't die. And I don't remember, but I believe dying like helps your gold, which can be pretty bad, actually. Wolves are much scarier than slimes. But we can start to take on some wolves. I'll be careful with our movements here. Okay. I believe the level, the level gap actually does matter, so if we're too low level, we'll do less damage, I believe, to our enemies here. There's a level 7 wolf. 
as you can see, I'm doing like just kind of low damage. I believe they have defense. Like fairly higher defense, maybe, or something like that. Uh, I'm not 100% certain how the game works. I just have vague memories. Oh, whoops. And if I whiff a hit, that's what happens, I guess. Okay, that's one wolf down. We need to kill it for our mission anyways. Oh, whoops. Getting hit by slime is pretty embarrassing, but we have to heal from the level up to come in clutch. We're starting to get a good amount of loot, actually, which is nice. Let's take out the slime real quick. Constitution. Just free stats. This is free money, basically. Crazy. Luck is clearly popping off for us, so if we go four here and then one here, I'm still pretty happy with that. Okay. We can't get any of the good stuff yet. Berserk strengthens your attack at the cost of your defense, and it lasts for a few minutes. Hurricane. Spinning move. Energy wave. Fire an energy wave. Oh, I didn't mess it up, did I? We good? Okay. So then this improves your carrying ability, giving you more weight. We will need to get this eventually, but for now I just want to commit to damage so we can farm faster. Alright. That caution is usually when things are like a bit too high level for you. Okay, that's a uh, normal. Oh, I see there's a hornet here. Alright, let's run. It's not worth it. Okay. So I believe that red health will heal itself all the way back up as well. That was towards the forest of guilt, yeah. Forest of guilt is a bit dangerous. Alright, let's see what we got cooking. We have this leather glove, it gives defense too, ours gives eight. Yeah, not popping off super hard, but and we haven't gotten any blessing stones, so awkward. another hornet here. Let's leave. I don't really want to deal with the hornets. How close are we to completing that quest? Don't be proud. You need to kill 20 little something. Okay. Goblins to the north. That's a little rough. The Silent Hill quest is also pretty rough actually. So let's just run on through, see if we can just get on through fast. Just gotta be careful with the hornets. The hornets are a bit annoying to deal with. Did I find a better Sepmatar? That would be awesome. Now that's the same as my current one. A bit unfortunate, but free stuff is free stuff, I suppose. Let's get out of here. I believe the area we should head to is Silent Hill. Oh yeah, we can also jump off the heads of things, I forgot about that mechanic. I think Silent Hill has more wolves, so we can go hunt down the wolves in that area. We do have some potions now, so we don't have to be necessarily as careful, but remaining vigilant is, of course, important. I think those things can poison us, so should be careful. Oh, whoops. 
so taking on only as many as you can handle is a good idea. As you can see, I would not be able to handle three at the same time, I don't think. So we'll just do it like this. One at a time. Looks like that one noticed me. Alright, we'll walk this one down a bit. As long as they're in hit stun, it's not a big deal. We have a 52 hit combo there. 55, 56. Very nice. Alright. We can just reload this area to complete the quest. If we go over there, it's probably death, honestly, straight up, so we will not head down yet. I think that is a bit too tough for me right now. Let's be careful now. If we take too many hits, it would not be great. Of course there is Arcos 2, but I haven't found a place I can really play it yet, I don't think. So, we'll just work our way through these wolves anyways. First. if we head down to that pink area, so I will do my utmost to avoid going down there at, like, all costs. this reload area? No. I was hoping it would, but it's fine. I think... Oh wait, did it reload the area? I see the wolves there. I didn't expect to see wolves, so... I kind of griefed myself on that one. So, almost level 8. I think we want to be like around level 9 before we take on the boss. Oh wait, I entered a different area, that's why I respawned. I wasn't paying attention. This is South Mountain. I was just at uh, Silent Hill. what happens when you try to get greedy. And we lost 51 gold and 95 EXP. Not the absolute worst, I guess. Whatever. Let's sell some stuff off. Potion of Luck. I think these are actually somewhat decent, so I'll keep them. We'll sell that, though. And we don't need the mana just yet. Onto a few, but that's it. Uh, it's kind of breaking right now on me. Small potion of mana. Uh, it just perpetually says small potion of mana now. Alright. I kind of know what everything here does, so it's fine. I didn't need this anyways. that potion? Like defense or something? The buff potions are usually useful, but whatever. Now I can't tell what potions those are, but it's fine. What, what's the worst that could happen? And also, I'm not sure if my game saves yet. 
Oh, Kimura the Ranger. I meant to accept his quest. Yeah, that, that was me trolling, I guess. That's fast to complete, though, so it's fine. Can I buy this? If I can buy this, I will just... Okay, I guess we can. I think we're about high enough level to use that stuff, almost. Uh, let's see. Can we close that? Okay. This will save the luck potion for when we need it, but... We're just cruising. I'll just move this off screen. It doesn't go away. Alright. I have no idea how to make that go away. Well, we will simply deal with it. I guess we'll see if the game saves properly after the slime quest. So, uh, I hope you guys will put up with this until then. These things basically do no damage to me. Rejuvenation. Yeah. Sure. We're just hunting item drops anyways. Necklace of Wind. I'm not sure if this does anything. I want to assume no, but I can't tell for sure. For all we know, this this necklace has changed the world or something. Maybe it's cursed, I don't know. Could be anything. Still have no blessing stone, so that would be the purple stone. The pink one is a higher two stone, which is kind of lucky to get, but we don't really need it yet, and we can't use it. So that's unfortunate, I guess. I do want a lot of the different stones, though. Oh, there's our first one. I believe we can get like a pretty absurd amount of strength. There is like a bug that allows you that you can abuse that allows you to get like a ridiculous amount of stats. I mean, we won't really use it, I guess, here, but whatever. Our crit is slowly ramping up, very nice. We're gonna put another point into proficiency now, which is great. Once we've gone a lot into proficiency, we'll be pretty strong. Oh, a fighter's hat. That's probably better than our current hat. I mean, we can check to know for sure though, right? Armor 45. No, it's the same. Okay then. It looks cooler. That's a win in my book. We're starting to ramp up our damage quite a bit. Oh wait, I could have taken these guys out. Whatever, I should. So, these kinds of areas are good for grinding. Potions, nice. Let's head back up, see if we can get some good stuff from these slimes. more areas like this, where there's just a whole bunch of slimes. Steel sword. Ideally we would get a Falcon. If we get too heavy, I'll get a Pumper, which could suck. 
I wonder if we finished the slime quest yet. I meant to accept that one. And, like, I thought there was a slime quest that I was going insane. But I forgot it was not that NPC that gave the quest, so. That's on my bad, I guess. I wonder if I finished the uh, wolf quest. I believe you can also convert the smaller stones into the bigger stones, so. We're just chilling at this point. Okay. How much weight are we at? Okay, still a tolerable amount. I don't know what those boots do, I just hope it's something good. I think the luck that we have is giving us more drops, so farming out stuff is going to be faster. Apprentice's boots, I don't know if that's good or not. I can't check them. But, more gear gets unlocked as we level up, so let's see, did we finish the quest? Uh, did they just want us to kill 10? No, 100. And we already have, okay. Let's head back to 10, I guess I'll use a scroll, it's fine. Okay. Let's talk to Kimura here. He gives us this belt, and I think the belt he gives is just generally really good. It's actually a genuinely good belt, I think, right? So, alright, let's save. And I will be back. Alright, so we're back at the main menu now. It's the moment of truth. Did my progress save? It did. Let's go. I mean, I was pretty down to just re-grind after every session, you know? But we don't have to do that. Alright, and now our cursor's fixed. Let's see, this gives us HP recovery. So now we actually regenerate. Insane. Gold ring. Apprentice boots. Defense 12. Okay, that is better than the leather boots, so we will replace that. The steel sword, as you can see, is pretty crazy, but... We put all of our uh, points into, like, Falcon Mastery, so... We can't really use that. But we can at least go ahead and sell... All of our useless stuff, and as you can see, this requires level 6, which we adequately are. So this long sword, we won't need that. These crystal sell for 20, the soul stone for that much, okay. There's actually a sorting function as well, which we just aren't using now. Defense 8, defense 13, no, that is higher, what? Okay. Steel sword. Steel swords just trigger me now. Well, if you know, you know. Why is it- why is it called the steel sword? I didn't steal this, I paid for this. Well, if you know, you know. That's traumatized me. In more ways than you can ever know. Oh, hey, and the gold ring. We'll equip it, because why not? It doesn't sell for much, it doesn't cost much either. Apprentice glove. Fighter's hat. And then we have the Yeta gun here, or whatever. Let's see if there is a good scimitar for sale. We'll just pick that up. If so, 3,000 is what it costs. But there, but he is selling a steel shield. Necklace of Blessing. The necklace is pretty swell. He sells pretty cracked items like that. Okay, we haven't killed enough wolves for that mission yet. So, let's see. Do we want to get a targe for 275? Not really. I will just simply grind it out instead. Let's see, antidote. That is not bad, necessarily. Potion of rejuvenation luck. Small potions of healing. Yeah, we'll just vibe. Actually, it's faster if we walk through here and use the portal to get back. Okay. So, in a bit, we'll be able to handle the harder areas, but I just want to get some more drops first, actually, so we'll farm the drops. Okay. 
another long sword. Unlucky. I mean, an axe wouldn't be much better. Potion of Berserk. That's good. I'm not as good as I used to get this game, but... Oh well. We're doing pretty decent damage now. We're still not doing that much, honestly, all things considered, because I kind of briefed myself. I could have had a fire sword to start with, like a fire scepter. Oh, I am briefing myself here, I suppose. I take no damage from those guys now, right? Okay. Heading back down. Let's go kill those wolves, I guess. Pretty sure our drop chance is getting boosted, so... That is swell. an axe, so at least it should sell for something decent, and we should fetch a fair price for it. Well, that is my hope, at least. Let's go check it out, actually. What does this have? Poison on it. Oh. We do have some health generation now, as you can see, our health is actually regening now. So that's cool. Anything else? Should still be careful of coronets. You saw what they did to us last time. Alright, let's just run. I don't want to deal with the hornets, actually. I don't think it's really worth it to attempt to kill them anyways. After killing an enemy. Oh yeah, defense bonus. Th that's actually better than our current glove somehow. Well, that's sad. To an extent. Let's sell to this guy. Uh, I don't like that actually. So we won't go for that. Sell price 69. up some money though. We have some crystals. These sell for a little bit. It's whatever though. We have a few of those ones. Looks like the text is a bit broken for these though, which is fine. Nature's blessing, steel sword, steel shield. Okay. Oh, 
those gloves are pretty cracked with crit chance that high. I, and it looks like we leveled off of that. Luck is clearly paying off for us here, so we'll just keep going. How heavy is our character at 42, 140? Encumbrance is not a big deal. Bulky on final blow. We should just keep going for that, I guess. Bulky on special attack is not bad. Berserk active is not bad either. I mean, we're going for mostly passive stuff first. Let's go pretty crazy, actually. But we don't even have, like, SP regen, I think. I think we might actually have gone in from the gloves, right? Maybe? No. None. So a bit unfortunate in that regard. No point in upgrading our stuff, actually. Kind of still weak. Maybe we can handle the wolves in a bit. If I buy at least a new weapon, I think I can handle it. But I want to at least get some of these drops. Oh, wasn't careful enough. Yeah, if I'm not careful, I can start racking up damage like crazy. I can't disrespect these wolves, or this is what happens, I guess. is just a decent farming area. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what I vaguely remember. I think it just has a bunch of slimes in it. Come on, item drops. Still a decent area to grind, I suppose. I'll be careful of the wolves actually just doing too much damage to me, that would not be great. I'm looking for the best here, but whatever. Gotta make sure I separate them if I need to. sure to not miss, or I just, if I rip, they won't be in hit stun, so that's bad. Oh, whoops, just like that, a whiff. We're getting decent gold from this, at least. I don't know if we're leveling up fast or not, I haven't been playing full attention here. How much XP do these wolves even give? I think you get decaying XP. Oh, whoops. You get decaying XP based on, like, level difference if you out level the stuff too hard. Uh, whoops. XP and it's not going super crazy. 
Does it say XP required six, 1368? Okay. So just making sure to farm some gold is not bad. I guess I should farm slimes instead, maybe, because by the looks of it, the wolves are not giving as many item drops, so, we'll see, I guess. There is also a strategy of just like grinding to right before leveling up, before you do a fight so that you level mid fight to get your health back. So I could try to do that actually as well. Slimes, after all. I guess the EXP is still decent because we still can clear these pretty fast. So we'll just do a bit of grinding. Gloves, huh? Gloves in the rare chest, the blue chest. Unlucky. We just want to kill these guys fast. Okay. Did we get anything good? Plus three leather gloves. These gloves are actually crazy. It gives a bit more defense, but this just generally has better stuff on it, I guess. This has a plus 10 defense bonus on it, so it's all. So. Yeah, th these are actually better. It's kind of funny. Even though that's higher tier, that has some better thing on it. get a lot of uh, damage increase if we get the uh, better seven tire, I think. After uh, I finish this game, I guess we'll probably move on to the second one, I guess. Up and down here a bit. 
gonna get some items, I guess. I'll use our luck stat. If we went like a different build, I guess we would probably be just doing the area now, but we scale. Another long sword. We don't have to pick those up actually now that I think about it, but this is my order instincts. We'll see how good that hat is in a second. And we haven't gotten a blessing stone in a while either, which is unfortunate. But I mean. RNG is RNG. 10% HP bonus. No, that's not worth it, I don't think. Avatar. It doesn't even need anything on it, it will already be better than what I'm using right now. Just need to make sure we have a lot of gold saved up. Okay. Let's head back. Talk to the storage guy, get some storage I think, right? Wait, can I not store my items with him? I thought I could for some reason. Oh well, I guess we just have to inventory manage. These leather gloves, solve them. I really want that steel shield, this is unfortunate, I can't get it. That's actually a crazy shield. There's a help menu here that shows you all the different things. So success rates here with this stuff. And there's like three tiers of stones. And then this shows all the different things you can get on your like weapons, your armor, accessories. You can also upgrade your uh, equipment to plus two, three, four, five, whatever. It's RNG though. So that's kind of like the system for this game, I guess. So we'll just use a blessing stone. Go small wind, small water, I believe, right? And that will give us thunder damage. Thunder and poison are both good. Ice is also good. Fire, I'm not so much about fire, honestly. 
this has a 100% success rate, so whatever. Now we have level 1 Thunder on this. And we'll just pop off, I guess. We can also do this stuff with potions. But I think we should be strong enough to handle the wolf now. So, since we haven't gotten one yet, though, we should pick up a shield before heading out. We don't need this shield. It, it's good that the shield is better, but let's see. What's the price on it? Yeah. We'll just go for the cheaper one. And our necklace of wind does nothing. Alright. shield on my way here. Also leveled up, should have been more careful than that, but we still have a lot of consumable items, so we'll probably be fine. But uh, yeah. I did realize that I was getting 12 EXP now from these wolves earlier, I was getting 24, so you, sh you're, you shouldn't kill stuff your level, I guess. Just get started on getting these wolves. That big wolf over there is annoying, so we should take out the smaller ones first. That is the boss. It wasn't as high level as I thought it was. That's misremembering, I guess. Also head down now to the next area down here, can't we? Actually, no, we can't. No. This area is just. Oh my God! Let's slide ahead now, Mercy. How much gold did I lose? I hope I didn't lose that much. 143. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, that hurt. So you get a soul stone for doing that. Not really worth. So killing the goblins though. Hmm. Level 2 fire. Steel. 
little shield with all this stuff. Oh, drop rate. Drop rate is crazy. Possible we definitely would like some drop rate. But anyways, let's go ahead and sell this. Can I right click to sell? No. That's what happens when you right click. I think there was a hockey. Was it like space click or something? No. I think there was, might have been a selling hockey, but I mean... Maybe I'm just insane. Posh, small potion of resurrection. I don't remember how that works, actually. All the stuff we have in our inventory is pretty good, though. So yeah, I guess we'll end it here for today. And, uh, let's save. Alright. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.